to the police out in Dubai at the moment. How have you found pre-season tour? Very enjoyable so far. Uh, nice to get out in the heat, get away from the indoor school and, and get on the park. It's been, it's been good so far, good standard of cricket. The lads are doing well and uh, yeah, it's good build up for, for the season. So we've been playing a two day game against the UAE today. It's been the first time you've got the opportunity to play since coming back from your injury. How have you found it? How have you found the process of that recovery? Yeah, I think, I think it's nearly two years since I've bowled with a, with a red ball in, in anger. Um, so it's, that was that was nice to get out there, uh, six overs in the in the legs bowling and a bit of time in the field. So it was good and a nice steady build up. Um, and touch wood, I'm all right and I got through it. Just uh, don't speak to me tomorrow morning. <laughs> Rewarded to get a wicket? Yeah, it was it was difficult conditions, quite a slow wicket and uh, wasn't doing a great deal. Maybe a, a little bit of tail. Uh, so just hit hit a good area and, and try and get a little bit of shape on it. And yeah, luckily enough, found the edge and threw to belly. You mentioned all that time you spent out trying to recover from this injury. You've recently signed a T20 contract with the club. How pleased are you to have signed that and how much hard work has gone into getting into a position in which you've been able to get that contract? Yeah, it was a frustrating uh, end to last season. Uh, obviously, the aim was to build into the T20s and then 50 over and I just couldn't quite get myself right. Uh, so it's been a, a long winter some more scans but thankfully that's all looking good now my, my back's 100% healed in terms of the new injury that I had uh, with the fracture and then it's just a case of just building up and trying to prove what I can do and push myself a little bit more each time and, and hopefully I can I can build into back into full fitness so the T20 contract is a great starting point it gives me a nice steady run into the season not too much workload um, and just go from there. Hopefully it'll be then 50 over and then into maybe some Red Bull cricket back end, but uh, it's a nice steady, steady building. How important has the work of the, the medical team been throughout to kind of keep you going, keep you motivated to make that recovery? It's been a long, long hard slog, so they're probably sick of me, um, but they've been great. They've, they've been honest with me all the way through the risks and, uh, and what I need to be doing and, and what the outcomes could be. So. We've had to be cautious. I've understood that. They've made it clear to me what's what's needed, what's entailed, what the risks. Uh, but uh, they've, they've said they're very happy with the way things have gone, uh, especially to get my back back to 100% healed. That was when we first started. That was uh, would have been best case scenario, and we've got to that. It's now pushing the rest of my body and getting it back up to full fitness and uh, full strength and muscles that might be a little bit weaker now because they've not been doing as much. So. It's all about a slow, steady build-up, and they've been they've been really good. They've supported me and given me uh, a lot of attention and a lot of uh, a lot of different things really that, that I've not had and they've maybe not had to, to do before. So, been very very thorough all the way through. And you mentioned how you wanted to build build up gradually, maybe into one day and Red Bull cricket. What are your aims just for 2022? Uh, just to get on the park get on the park as much as I can, play as many many games as I can and and just get back playing cricket. Uh, it's something I love doing and I've got lucky enough to have the opportunity to do that as a job. So I'll try and do it for as long as I can.